I'm John Gary, Regional Sales Manager for FICA Western Canada. I'm Don Singer, Technical Sales Rep for Vancouver Region of Western Canada. So we're going to talk about concrete repair uh, today and we're going to demonstrate some products. Firstly, when you're looking at any sort of products, you want to check the safety data sheet and the product data sheet to ensure that you've got the right safety gear and protection with you. Uh, today, we've got our safety vest. We'll be wearing gloves as well as our glasses. And because we're at the Sika plant, we're also wearing our steel toed shoes. As we're mixing the product, we'll also be wearing a respirator. We want to actually make sure with our products that we've got a substrate that's going to be at an SSD, meaning a saturated surface dry. This could mean that we're going to be adding water to the concrete substrate 24 hours beforehand so it's adequately wet. Otherwise, we also need to ensure that we've got a bonding agent. Bonding agents could be uh, products such as Secator 32, Armatec 110, or Latex R in the Seca lineups. The concrete needs to have a surface profile, the CSP 6 to 10. That means the concrete needs to have been chipped, mechanically prepared. This could be hydro demolition, something along those lines to provide amplitudes for mechanical grab and grip to the piece. With the Monotop 410 in Seca's line, this is a single component polymer modified cementitious repair mortar. This also has fibers in it for uh, shrinkage compensation. It's also a higher leaf strength. Uh, the nice part about this, it's a hand patched product. We're able to do different, different depths of repair, both horizontally, vertically, as well as overhead. So a versatile lineup here that we're able to, to use here. So this is our repair. We need to do a scrub coat first. So we take a little bit of product. We're gonna scrub it in. What we're trying to do, push it in to the substrate, all the little voids, all the little spots. We want to jam as much mortar as possible. This will allow our lift, when you put it on top, to be fully bonded. No potential air lines, little bubbles. Now we've got a scrub in. So this is what we want to do. Take a little handful. You can also use a margin trowel if you want. We're going to build it up. You can see how sticky it is. And what we're doing is you also don't see any of the fibers in the product because they're macro fibers here. So we're going to start slowly building up to reinstate the concrete here that's been damaged. Packing it in to allow us to bench this out. We want to work from the middle to the exterior. So we're not pulling anything away from the edges. Just trying to give it some body and we'll shape it as it starts to set. We've got it in. We're just going to start to kind of slowly start to build our edge here. Ouch. Still a lot of green here. Put our edge in. Create our 45. A little bit light there. state that drip edge. See, it's starting to set for us now, which is good. And we're able
We'll let this set up for a bit before we do one final pass with the trowel. So as we wait for this to finish, we want to remind you about curing. So with this being cementitious, we need to focus on it being a water-based cure. This could be Sika Floor Seal WB18 or 25. This could also be just burlap and poly put over top of it uh, just to add that protection. It's cementitious, it does require curing. Uh, after that, obviously we strip and clean and then it's ready to be onto the next stage in this building. In this case, we'll be finishing by painting.